Newsflash, faith without works is dead. Don't say something and not act on what you said. You're trusting in the Lord to lose weight. You're trusting in the Lord to get your diet right. You're trusting in the Lord to build the muscle you've wanted to build. You're trusting in the Lord to change your financial situation. And that's, that's a beautiful thing. We should be trusting with, in the Lord with all of our hearts, leaning not on our own understanding, but the Bible tells us faith in and of itself without works is dead. I can trust in the Lord that I'm going to get fitter and stronger this 2024. But guess what? He has given us access to gyms. He has given us the amazing fruit and vegetable and all the vitamins and the minerals available to us on this earth for us to go out there, take action and take advantage of the many things he has blessed us with. You cannot say something and then just leave it at a spoken word the difference between having faith in christ and actually you know living out that faith and having a wish or a fantasy is the action the difference between a a goal and a wish is the action the the goal has action to it there are steps to take in faith you trust that god will get you on the other end of it but know that god has given us a path to walk down we walk with christ we need to take steps it's a walk it's a journey it tells us to enter through the narrow gate entering is an action it's an action that we do in our beliefs, in the doctrine we submit to, in the action we don't take. We do take the food we eat, the things we listen to, the things we watch, who we associate with. We need to become diligent in taking action. The Bible tells us the plans of the diligent lead to great prosperity, but the plans of the scoffer. Girl, I got that scripture wrong. As surely, plans of the diligent lead to great prosperity as surely as haste leads to poverty we're not looking for shortcuts we're not trying to drink a slim tea you're not trying to get fit in 30 days or lose this in 30 days you're taking the journey you're going the long road it's not an easy road to walk with christ it's not an easy road to walk it out but you have to take the steps and it says in the bible it is the one who endures until the end who will be saved it is the one who puts the work in what is endurance it's maintaining focus through pain and distraction holy spirit have your way we need to take action this 2024 no more yappity yappity i'm tired especially as a coach i'm tired of hearing people say they're gonna do stuff and they're not on it they're not about it you're not bad you're not bad <laughs> it's a threat <laughs> you're not bad you're not making moves you're not taking action it's like it's important to take action but i don't want to ramble too much in your ear i don't want to ramble too much in your ear follow me on tiktok follow me on instagram i'm your sister in christ and i'm here to help you grow in your faith as i grow in my faith as well as take care of the vessel you've been blessed with and this was a bit of a mess and it was a bit everywhere but kind of just freestyled i kind of just freestyled and say what's on my mind christ <laughs>